We haven't talked yet about how to take the derivative of a piecewise function. So that's what we're going to do here. They want us to find the derivative at 1, so f prime to 1, and we're given this piecewise function here. So piecewise works to where if my x values are less than or equal to 1, I'm only going to use the first function. If my x values are greater than but not equal to 1, I'm going to use the second one. So when we're using these formulas, we can use the same formulas we talked about before in the previous session when we were looking at uh, tangents of lines at certain points. The setup is the same for each of these. I'm doing the x of 0 in this case is going to be 1, so i got to do that twice because I have two different functions. So I'm going to find the derivative here using 2, and I'm going to use the 1 uh, down below. These should be exactly the same if I can actually do that. If I can find that, if it's possible, these should be the same. However, if they're not the same, then that means that the limit, it wouldn't be possible to do that. It wouldn't exist there. So let's go ahead and start with that. We're going to do this one. So we're going to do f prime of 1, and we're going to do, we're using 2. All right, now if I use 2, I can't, there's nothing to plug that into, which means that this is always going to be 2 here. F of 1, okay, when f is 1 right here, that means that I'm going to use this function and I'm going to be at 2. So f of 1 is also going to be 2, and I have h down below, and I'm going to get 0. So this is assuming this first part assumes, I should write this, assumes x is less than or equal to 1. Okay. Now, for this one, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to do f of 1 plus h. Now, this time I'm using 2x, so I'm going to put that in. 1 plus h will go in there uh, for that one. Again, f of 1 1 is only defined for the first one. So again, even though I'm putting in f of 1, I'm using a different function for f of x. I'm not putting 1, uh, this, I'm not basically using this, I got to use this first one. So for right here, if x is less than or equal to 1, I have 2. Okay, so I have minus 2 here. That's over h. I want to simplify this. Okay, so I'm going to do 2 plus 2h, and then minus 2, that's over h there. The 2's are going to cancel out. The h's cancel out also and look what happens. We get 2. So the limit I did for each of these, because these are different, that means that f prime of 1 is going to be d and e. It does not exist. Again, the reason why that is is because the first, I did the limit process for each one. I did limit at this one and also at that one and what happened was I got two different values so because the limit at one approaches two different things that limit doesn't exist and so if the limit doesn't exist that means the derivative also does not exist so this one is assuming that x is less than one when I work with the first one this one down here assumes that x is greater than one so again we're taking in these into account we're using only these specified values because we're following the piecewise function, but doing so, again, because you get two different values, does not exist.